Hey folks, welcome to my channel. I'm Double Archangel and in this week's speed art video I took part in the drop zero challenge. So can you make this with free stock? Sure you can and I'm gonna show you how. Now this is a challenge that is from the photo manipulation official site and, and it is a challenge that is based on their starter kit. This kit contains over 200 stock asset and they are free to download. I have a link for it in the description down below. It is free but if you want to buy something else from their site I have an affiliate link for them in the description down below and their stock is superb. Anyway this challenge was to make an artwork of those starter bundle stock pictures and 80% of it was supposed to be just that and the rest could be any kind of own stock footage. Now I made this challenge to challenge myself but I also wanted to only keep it free stock. So the rest of the stock that I used was for the background and the lens flare and that's about it. And those were from Pexels and Freepik. I have links to those sites also. The majority of the drops were fantasy or post-apocalyptic related. But I wanted to make something else. So I went the sci-fi slash cyberpunk way. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. But also if you like these kind of videos and this video, give it a thumbs up. Ring the bell also for more videos to come so you know when they come out. If you like to see this and many more artworks of mine you can find them on my Instagram as double underscore art angel or in the Viant Art as double arch angel with an R-C-H. Anyway let's start this speed art video and let's begin. So, like I said, I wanted to make a sci-fi scene or a cyberpunk scene and I started with this sci-fi kind of corridor that was part of the stock footage and I wanted to use most of it but still cut it out so it looks like corridor of some sort. After this I added the star sky that I took from Pexels and added the planet also over it to make it a little more interesting with some kind of nebula or whatever in the background. When I was done with that I added a mid-ground with, with a city of some sort also from the stock bundle and then I started to create the first character. Now I used one of these assets from the fantasy side where I took the hood from on this cyber punky kind of female person with a very big gun in her hand and uh, with the textures that were in the pack I tried to make this leather kind of feel to her clothes that I also had made customly with the pen tool. I wanted to make some kind of mask also but not just as a mask but as some kind of goggles so I added that also using a hue and saturation layer I got these lenses made and to bring some more details and use more stock I used these bone kind of looking things that I added to her clothing because I thought the originals were a little bit dull. Now I wanted this kind of purple glow on her. And uh, the second part was this female person also but I wanted her to be some kind of android first I thought but then I thought again and thought that no actually I'm gonna make an exoskeleton of this 
cybernetic robot, female robot asset. So I started to clip out lots of bits and pieces from that one stock and make it fit. First I wanted her hair to be uh, somehow implemented in this exoskeleton thingy. I was bowling around with ideas of making her an android or making her a human with an exoskeleton and that's what I then decided to go with. So taking some parts away that uh, seemed fit to uh, make it some kind of exoskeleton armor. I started to build up this uh, with the warping, warping tool and uh, using these stocks over and over again. Her gun belt I wanted to be above uh, the exoskeleton so it would seem even more like it's an armor on her than rather than a part of her. I thought that not too much of the electronics should be visible, like exoskeleton is meant to enhance your own body, right? So I used some of these cylinders, kept them and uh, added, added them to her arms, her upper body and uh, her lower, lower back on her hips so that it would like enhance her motoristic skills. Still, somehow I wanted it to look like it's not just an armor, but it's an exoskeleton, meaning cyberpunky advancements on your body. So, so even though it's on her, it's also connected to her. So, the part that is in her back head is like not just on her body, but actually connected to her. I decided that I won't be changing her weapon. She could be super fast or something and use a normal pistol. Also, I thought I wanted some kind of emergency happening in this scene and I decided to go with this kind of red color of the overall lighting and I started to light up the whole scene with this red. Uh, first I made it pretty vibrant but then I decided to tone it back a little and make it more subtle maybe. Now, I also wanted this to be like a situation where something has just happened that isn't supposed to happen. The scene itself has like the light source behind, far behind. And that's why I added very sharp highlights on, or rim lights, and, and just this foreground would be pretty dark. So the whole corridor wouldn't be uh, blinking in red, but only this one part. By highlighting the outer side of the corridor, I made it look more like it's like just a section of it that is 
in an error state. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this Drop Zero challenge. It was super fun and I'm ready for next challenge from photo manipulations Facebook site. If you are into photo manipulation art and you still are not part of this superb group from Facebook, I highly recommend to go check Photo Manipulation official Facebook group and join the super company. And this was not that, that of a long project for me, it took about five hours to make and for those that have followed me before, this was a super relaxing project after that Warhammer 40k that I just did. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I'm Double Heart Angel and I catch you in the next one.